Hi, Quinn. Good evening. Hi, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, sir. Thank you. Well, uh, I was going through your profile. It was mm -hmm. very interesting. Thank you. And uh, before your job, you are staying, I think, uh, international location, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, which country you are staying? I was in uh, Germany for a while. Mm -hmm. um, yes, for a year almost. Okay. What is the difference you feel? You worked in Germany and now in, in Bangalore. What work culture is difference? Uh, great question, sir. I can uh, say that mostly in uh, European countries, people are very flexible for their uh, career choices. So if they are uh, doing, uh, you know, some non-technical job, if someday they are feeling like they don't want to do this anymore, they can just switch it without even thinking twice and they can just uh, uh, work for it for a while and they can switch. And in India, uh, we have we still have little stigma that uh, non-technical people cannot get into technical field or technical people don't want to go for non-technical field or uh, managerial field. So this kind of stigma we still have in uh, India. But however, we are uh, uh, changing, we are developing. So I think uh, India is doing pretty good uh, than Western countries. Uh, Europe, I would uh, highlight, because in recession, uh, the condition of Germany was really bad and still it is bad in terms of job market. But uh, uh, whereas India is doing really great, uh, still people are finding job, they are getting some of the other opportunities every now and then. So I believe that India is doing far better than any other country in the world. I was going through your profile before Germany. You also part of a data again as a data uh, analytics internship. You are doing five months, correct? What, what yes. is your uh, your role and especially in the data again internship? Yes, sir. While uh, I was actually trying to uh, change my domain, my current uh, job role into core uh, data analysis. Uh, so that's why I joined this organization and I was doing internship uh, into that. So I was handling student data. Uh, I took a training for a while and then I was handling uh, student data and day to day activity I was managing and recording and also uh, managing the data. Uh, uh, to the uh, you know uh, uh, you know admin level uh, to streamline the business. And that's it. So. Do you have any client facing role? Earlier? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did. Actually, most of the time in my career, I was, uh, you know, working with clients only. So my first company uh, where I was working in Genpack, there I was working for Google Pay. So I was entirely handling Google Pay uh, training and quality team. There I was uh, handling the you know, quality data, I was managing RC, I was doing some RCAs and quality scores and performance management, everything uh, I was doing, uh, using the data uh, from the operations. I was, uh, you know, closely working with the operations team and helping them to, you know, uh, improve the performance and uh, improve the, you know, uh, business. And also after after Genpact, I was working with Accenture for uh, Meta Process Meta, the Facebook. So there also I was doing the same thing. Okay, uh, same kind of data related work it was, and I was handling the quality and training, the same RCA and managing data for improving the business. Mm -hmm. nice. So you already work all the top most company. I worked in Facebook Meta, Lenovo. Okay. Yes. And also worked in German. Very nice. Nice. So we are looking also same potential candidate who can, you know, going to be a deal with your client and dealing the data owners, data stewards. So coming to the, you are telling that uh, dealing with the, you know, customer facing role and client facing roles. When I'm telling data owners, what do you mean that data owners? Uh, data owners uh, could be the stakeholders, sir. Mm-hmm. 
the stakeholder are business leaders uh, they can be the data owner okay so how uh, do you dealing with any data owner for your role uh actually sir all the time during my career i had to work with all the stakeholders closely working with all the stakeholders so yes i i uh, have to say that i was working with them data owners okay so tell me coming to the technical part i uh, will go before that few more questions there what is the difference between data and information i'm sorry sir you are not audible come again what is the difference between data and information so data can be anything like uh, whenever we are saying something or we are seeing something it can be data when uh, uh, the data is very meaningful then it comes to the information mm -hmm. how define structure and non structure data with examples so uh, structure data will be like uh, this um, whatever we are using in excel uh, in table format uh, those are structured and unstructured can be um, like any uh, pdf or uh, video anything like that can be unstructured mm -hmm. can you explain your involvement in your project last project sure sir so uh, the last project i mean i'm still doing it uh, the current project i'm doing uh, with uh, lenovo i would say there i am handling the data such a way that every day we are getting uh, this lenovo customers we have you know different kind of customers like premium customer premier customers and standard customers so we are getting customers and how we are uh, you know resolving their issues and we are working on those data and we are trying to improve the uh, you know quality of our work quality of the uh, lenovo product uh, product as well Mm -hmm. so in that case my inputs is uh, to uh, co collate all the data and then clean them and arrange them in a order and then i have to do the analysis in terms of you know performance management in terms of performance improvement and also i have to take care of the uh, entire uh, bq so that uh, people are improving their uh, you know Uh, you know potentials they are improving their uh, you know skills and uh, put their 100% to the company oh nice when you were mentioned that the, you are uh, consolidating integrating or you know combining the data what are the steps yes. you face challenges sir uh, currently i am facing challenge since uh, i started uh, you know upgrading my skills i am trying to uh, input all the uh, skills i have upgraded so far i am trying to input or implement all these things into my current role and they are uh, there are times i am facing challenges because there are few tools we are not allowed to use and we rather not required so maybe that is the reason i am looking for a job change currently because uh, whatever the areas i have uh, it's already almost uh, very limited uh, resources currently i have so i am not able to uh, you know implement all the skills currently so that is why i am looking for a job change so that i can explore more into the same field and enhance my skills if required and just add some value into the business oh nice so you are telling you are pulling the data from multiple sources yes and sir. you mentioned there's two option one is internal data external mm -hmm. data how will define so um currently i'm only working with uh, internal data okay where uh, we have all the sources from the internal data i'm not working with external data so i can only answer uh, about the internal one okay okay no issue yes sir so tell me assume that you have a, you know joined a new team and the new project uh -huh. you were the only one in the team tell mm. me what is your first step to the organ you know organizing the things so i believe that if i am the only person i will be having my stakeholder with me yes if not any other uh, okay so uh, i would like to understand the needs of the business first from the stake, uh, stakeholder or whoever i am reporting to so i'll be understanding the needs of the business wherever we have the needs and according to that we will set up our team uh, we will understand the needs we will understand the budget and everything 
and then we'll be set up uh, setting up the team and as per the requirement we might need the experience we might look for the uh, you know uh, packages and everything and skills and everything so yeah i would talk to my stakeholders or my manager to understand the business needs what is your role in responsibility in present and last companies my current role is uh, i am entirely working with data sir so my role is uh, the name is uh, lead uh, quality and training however i am entirely working with the data because uh, as a quality person i have to check the uh, i have to do the quality analysis for the entire lenovo support team so that um, you know after this analysis uh, after uh, after this analysis uh, we have to share the feedback with the business and according to that the training team will be taking care of uh, taking care further and uh, they will be checking uh, the quality of the business and they will be you know retraining or they will be managing uh, with other uh, knowledge base and everything for the business the biggest failure in your life and how did you overcome uh sir i won't say it's a biggest failure uh i thought i planned something and that didn't happen i i won't say it is a failure for me uh when i thought it would be easy to get a job in germany uh, when i uh, left my high paying job in india and left uh, uh, you know went to germany i thought it it would be easy with this much of experience i can get a job just like that okay so that time i was facing recession and also i had the language barrier so that time i realize this uh, these other skills are not enough for me i have to enhance my skill and also if i have to uh, get into this uh, this country or for professional field the uh, the same experience i was carrying as a training person uh, as a trainer for that i need a native level of german so to get that kind of job so i thought it was easy but it was not so i would say it was a wrong decision for me it was a wrong calculation so i don't regret that i had a great learning from there i understood a lot of things i had the courage after that only i got the courage to switch my career or change it to you know entirely core uh, data analysis part so i won't say it's a failure sir i think it's a great learning for me how do you see yourself five year from now i see myself uh, you know like uh, in a reputed organization uh, you know handling a big team maybe uh, as a manager senior manager or operation manager uh, handling a big team and of course adding the great value to the business great what is your weakness my weakness yes i do definitely have weaknesses uh, one of the great weakness i have is uh, you know currently i'm struggling to say no to uh, you know my colleagues my managers my higher um, hierarchies so whenever i'm getting any work uh, any work or any challenges from the you know hierarchy or my uh, colleagues so if they are asking for help i am not able to say no to them directly because and in the, uh, such a way since i do not have any other you know commitment currently so that is why i am taking all of this on me and that way i am just burdening myself so i am trying to work on it i am trying to you know like uh, be busy in my personal life after my office work mm-hmm. so yes i am working on it but yeah this is one of my weakness you are working such a reputed company lenovo why you are planning to leave that process the project uh, as i have already mentioned sir like uh, after upgrading my skills and uh, after upgrading my skills i was actually looking f- to add this skills or use this implement the skills to my work okay mm-hmm. so but there we have uh, limitations to use it so that is why i feel this is the great time to uh, you know explore uh, my current field or my current interest so that is one of the reason i'm looking for a job change and also i'm co- continuously having this uh, you know night shift 
so that is why i would believe that it would be a you know like a right decision to change my job all right all right do you have a question for me i'm okay yes sir, i do have a question i would like to understand uh, the person you are interviewing interviewing for or the uh, you know position you are looking for here uh, what are your expectations from that position from that person yeah see there is a this is a, in a second round mostly when you you know face the client round the client they mostly going to assign your work so i think this question uh, answer maybe they you know they people can give the better this is the second round the final round client and i'm okay with your profile so hr will get back and we will hope you soon that uh, and i i hope will your answer, you know question will get answered all right okay sir okay sir okay. no problem thank you have a good day thank you sir thank you for your time